Hi Gemini, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back if you are a cyber angel and welcome if you are new. Please subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified if you hit the bell on all. Private or none, you won't get any notifications. And welcome to my cyber angels and thank you for your awesome support. Really awesome. You are the top notch at the moment and there are more than 110 reactions on the love video or romance video so you'll be first this week okay and uh, thank you very much for sharing and liking and I hope you will like the general videos as much as the romance videos so come on come into the live sessions gems I would love to meet other gems there's only a couple of gems in the live sessions so come on support us we are ginormous we are real gems literally and figuratively and happy birthday to all the Geminis and cross watchers um, uh, this week. I hope you have a wonderful week and that you will have a beautiful birthday. Well, when I uh, uh, laid the cards out, I wanted to change it because it doesn't look really happy. But let's see what this week's energy is. And uh, when I put the last card down, I've got the celebration cards and you know that I'll put the cards out and I won't change it because it's not my reading it is general reading so if you would like an extensive reading just for you or a yearly reading then just uh, write to me the information is below the video or look in the uh, look up in the right hand corner there is a white dot and that will take you to the website and there you can see all the reviews the interviews the the video of the competition and what the rules are so uh, and if you don't like scouting around but remember there are uh, instructions underneath the video of the competition as what you have to do if you want to join in and win the Shadowland Tarot or the uh, vice versa or for a free reading so nobody is a loser when they join the competition because you have to make a vision board and you can throw that out the window after the competition or you can carry on and use it it will empty your head definitely it helps me um, it's like I put post-its uh, post-it stickers on my fridge and anything else um, and I also have that whiteboard that I showed you um, in the competition how to make one okay and I hope you've enjoyed your month uh, your seven month forecast the update on the yearlies as the energy has changed and I hope you've enjoyed the review last week's and uh, the romance readings uh, it's very clear to me that you love them and I love you you know that I love all my viewers especially my cyber angels because we are one we come together three times a week and that's Monday Wednesday and Friday and if you would like to join in then you're more than welcome I give free cards I do healings we have discussions it's never the same and I answer questions that are supported by a donation that is a super chat or a super sticker now this reading gems is for the 8th to the 14th like I said and my birthday will be the week after okay on the 15th so we've still got a couple of weeks left to enjoy our beautiful uh, fast and uh, energy I love it it's go 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 and um, that's the way I like it I don't like to sit still I don't I'm not a person to sit behind the geraniums as they say I'm always on the go I'm too busy to tell you the truth and I'm doing something new now um, and that's what I'm going I'm doing tarot and the chakras and it is amazing full of colors and I come alive because you know that I was doing the um, the chakras already but with the angelic um, um, 
chakra system and they've got more chakras in the angelic system because that's related to the angels but I got re again I'm getting really into this but it's quite uh, um, tough to uh, learn because it's too much information and I just want to select the chakras from uh, the in-depth astrology because I'm not an astrologer but um, knowledge gained is also uh, something that I, I might go I might go into depth in astrology but I don't think so because that takes a lot of years and a lot of time but all little bits of knowledge knowing like you Gemini you want you're eager to learn a bit of this and a bit of that like gardening cooking drinking uh, or the quality of wine or specific perfumes um, or, or if you're a sewer or knitter you want to learn new things and that is how you help others by sharing your knowledge and we are like girl friday boy friday we are jack of all trades we are not only talkers we are not only thinkers uh, we are not only people with knowledge but we are also beautiful human beings with many talents and we do care for our loved ones and we are loyal except some people don't understand us um, so don't take any notice if that is happening in your life and you're just 18 or just 19 uh, the understanding from others will come uh, when you just do your own thing and not forget anybody else I know we are the protectors because we are the symbol of the swords we protect and we communicate and we use our wisdom and we enhance our wisdom so that we can maintain helping others so the first I'm going this is you when and this is the um, my spread that I do in the extensive reading but I do do it with one deck not with two decks and um, the second deck I usually use as a clarifying uh, card uh, plus the oracle cards depending whether it's a general or um, uh, a romance reading or um, what you call it compatibility reading in romance or friendships okay so um, that is my querent card and that is how I'm going to work around it I'm not going to do the in-depth card of um, well I've just got a message do the in-depth card reading um, not just uh, the Monday Friday Saturday and Sunday and that is then the um, the all over energy is the querent one but also because it's our birthday I'm going to read the from up to down and across and the cross that way and the diamond okay the diamond will be the week and I will be reading crosswords and um, in all the other readings I've just done the week and the querent and taken the uh, the corner cards and clarified them but I will do the cross because it is Gemini's birthday perhaps that is a good idea for the future for cancer next month so if you are cancer Gemini or Gemini cancer uh, Libra whatever um, then watch out for your birthday read I think that's a nice idea I think I'll start doing that okay Gemini you are coming up for the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords can be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, but he brings you news. So you might meet a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian on the, on the other hand, but the news will come through cyber. This will be through email, this will be through text message or a phone call. So that is you, okay. Okay, Gemini, this is your week and this is you. So, first of all, on Monday, you have the Ten of Swords upside down, 
When it's like this, that means that there is an ending and a new beginning. And somebody might have stabbed you in the back, or you might have back pain and you're f feeling sad and, yeah, upset really. More than upset, you might be feeling very, very wounded. Look at all the tears that are repaired. He's just like the hard card, stitches everywhere on his body because he's been hurt so much. But you've got it upside down. You're feeling happy. Well, of course you would be, because it is your birthday week. And this means that nobody has hurt your feelings, thank goodness. But um, there, you're still in the same uh, place, and you're not moving yet. Something might be delayed um, on Monday. Okay. But you are happy you are feeling good you're in a good energy so maintain that energy feel that energy so if something does happen then you can go back into that energy now on wednesday you have the queen of cups so the queen of cups is scorpio you might be meeting up with a scorpio but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. These people are usually loving, passionate and caring and nurturing, sexy and sensual people. They love beauty. They are, the, uh, the queen is definitely in control of her emotions. They are also psychic people, very sensitive people, especially around the full moon or the um, new moon so um, if you are not meeting up with a queen you might be taking care of yourself nurturing yourself taking uh, a pause time out just to rejuvenate so that could be on Wednesday perhaps you've already had your birthday perhaps you are a Gemini that has already had a birthday and you really need to rejuvenate and to take time out and you're, you've had so many birthday presents or money that you can actually go out there and do get that dress or whatever you wish and you're thinking what can I get just take pausing you're going to spoil yourself take care of yourself awesome lovely card if you're not meeting a Scorpio or a water sign you might be taking time out to listen to music. You might have just bought this new CD or uh, LP, um, as they're called, that's a vinyl, um, because they're coming back into the fashion. You might have just bought one of the vinyl records for nostalgia. And you are relaxing and you're taking care of yourself. Wow, that's a birthday present to yourself, Gems. But these people, the, um, the Queen of Water, uh, all of them are fun to be with because they do nurture you, they do take care of you and you can have a good old crack with them, laugh in other words. And again, you like if you're not meeting the Queen, it looks definitely that you're taking time out. That is advisable. You've got a four here, so there is stability, proper foundations you are taking time out to like i said uh, with this cup of coffee i got a take a break take a break take a pause you might go on holiday or take a weekend off or you might just relax and meditate contemplate think about what has happened and what is going or what is going to happen if you haven't had your birthday yet but also evaluate if you are contemplating and meditating. Perhaps you might be seeking answers to a situation. And now I'm taking this line. Perhaps you've received news. This is the present, this is the past, this is the future. Perhaps you have received news that you weren't expecting. Perhaps it is... Um, uh, yeah, well, it would be bad news if it was this way. Perhaps it is news that you weren't expecting. It's not bad, but it's not really good. It's not what you wanted. But it will bring you stability. 
it will make give you stability it could be that your job uh, because of the COVID virus uh, people are losing their jobs perhaps you are maintaining or are allowed to keep your job but only four hours because of the four um, I just see four perhaps only four hours a day so you are working part-time or half-time because I'm seeing somebody doing this cutting okay now we're going uh, how can I uh, which card? Uh, sorry, now we're going to this card. I talk too much. I'm typical Gemini. You are fed up. You are fed up with the old routine. And you do want adventure and excitement. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we never sit still. We get bored. We need to have our attention in something exciting and adventurous so that we can keep our concentration and our minds that keep on yearning for information we need you want a new beginning you want also security uh, most probably you would like to have a job of 32 to 36 hours a week and not 40 or 48 hours you want you would like to have a, a steady exciting job I think I've got the feeling most of you would like a practical job and a uh, uh, a third of it theoretical so like being the bookkeeper but also going out to meet the clients that type of thing you like to keep busy or being uh, an auxiliary nurse or a nurse in the district or in a region so going out and coming back to the office so you have your people your beautiful people and your colleagues so that you don't feel alone okay and that is awesome now if I'm uh, I, I'm just going to go into the corner readings like I've done for everybody else and then I'll go into the extensive uh, reading okay or the extension of the reading now you've got the eight the eight of Lenaman that is the graveyard or the death card as we call it or the coffin so you this is the money house this is also your power house you are in your power house you are going to make money or you're going to receive money that could be money as a birthday present if that is what you have wished you've got the nine of pentacles the nine of diamonds which means that you are leaving uh, a face behind most probably not such a prosperous face perhaps that's what you're con contemplating shall I accept this four hour uh, job uh, a day or shall I leave my advice is also don't throw old shoes away before you have new ones perhaps you don't want two jobs perhaps you just want one job but with variety that is what you're most probably contemplating but I do see you leaving you are going into a new phase you're going to get most probably better payment or you're going to get a promotion perhaps you seek a promotion so if you don't want to leave the company that you're at you're going to go back to them and discuss and you can do that because you you are a Gemini you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos you can make them see sense okay you are going on to a next level you are going forward and you are exciting you've got eight eight here so that's a double number an angel number and eight and eight is sixteen so that becomes a seven luck is on your side now you um, if I do see this you are moving up from a 9 to a 10 a 9 is an ending and then I can say 10 is the new beginning then it might be slow but I don't think so it will be in the next 8 to 10 weeks I think so um, at the end of the summer you will have something new either um, August or the 9th September um, and it could even extend into October 
this is crazy I'm getting goosebumps here Ooh. so it is 8, 9 and 10 it could be 3 months ok so this is what you're going to get news about something new ok um, but be careful make sure uh, you are not breaking uh, rules of your previous contract so if you have to give notice give notice go to the boss and talk about it perhaps they m want you to stay within their firm and you will be moving up 8, 9, 10 you'll be moving up you can see since do you understand what I'm trying to say you can talk them round you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos whoa and yeah great stuff here you've got 29 29 is 11 the angels have your back this is the lady your uh, manager or CEO might be a woman this woman is also the uh, ace of swords the ace of swords so that could be a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian and she look at her her mind goes round and round she's got loads of uh, I see this is like a filing cabinet not only houses but I was talking about being a district nurse or somebody moving from the office to the district or region so you'll be visiting houses Wow but I also see this as a filing cabinet she can file every single detail boom 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 and that's a typical Gemini Libra or an Aquarium there is a new beginning this could be a wisdom uh, so that means learning workshops uh, uh, study uh, an apprentice internmentship that could also be it the house internmentship that's also what I'm getting but it could also be uh, a, a, a job as a pre presentator uh, of uh, or a speaker or uh, uh, working in a at a I see um, a bali um, a counter I see a high counter receptionist you could be doing that or in a telephone center call center that is what I'm seeing as well now it could be also in an institution hospitals school being a teacher passing on your knowledge wow 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 so listen there could be um, an air sign or a water sign lady um, you might be conversing with uh, a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces lady with about your ideas to this new start about this new study or this new way of communicating perhaps you might start a YouTube channel or you might go out on Facebook or somewhere else and you might start blogging or vlogging and you are passing news onwards to other people okay you are not just sitting in the corner you are active look at how and I said I'm not sitting behind the geraniums this is being dead boom and this is that you're not you are active wow 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 this reading really is coming alive again you have Pisces in your vicinity you've got the uh, Scorpio here but moon is Pisces and again emotions might run high or you might be ultimate sen sensitive at full moon or the new moon there are things that you don't know so that could be the study the ace of swords okay do more research you might become a detective detective who knows for everybody this is a general reading so that is why it is um, I can't stipulate but you are done with cowboy time it is you're not taking the pause anymore for me 10 past 10 or 10 to 10 is coffee time is the pause time for coffee and you've got five more minutes left for your break because the breaks usually are 15 10 to 15 minutes and 10 to 10 I have to think of Rintintin uh, or um, that dog that used to uh, be together in a television television series 
uh, with the cowboys Rin Tin Tin I think it was called it was an Alsatian so that for me is an I uh, always when I say 10 to 10 or 10 past 10 Dun, 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 dun. I get that hear that noise, the cow, that music of that series. So the cowboy time is over. You're not taking a pause anymore. You've taken your pause. You've got your ideas. You've evaluated, and you've done your research. You are on the right path because the moon shines light on your path to the northern note that is where you are going where you have decided you want to go and reach your goals or wishes that is where you're going and you have the eight of hearts yes the eight of hearts the eight of cups again again eight eights so that is definitely your moving on you're not you've taken the break you've received news and you're taking care of yourself even your emotions you have reached the stage of the queen you can become the king the status of the king that you can have all your emotions under control but like I said the queen uh, of swords is not an iceberg and she is not the widow that people say she is or two-faced because we stand for the swords justice protection clarity honesty and knowledge and communication now if you're cold you don't communicate you have the heart you have your nurturing your loyal your caring you are as soft as putty like the queen of cups wow now you might have had <coughs> a, um, uh, a disagreement with somebody um, as the rods are disagreement this could have been with a page of um, wands but uh, the page of wands means that you are going to get news the page of wands is Sagittarius but it could also be Aries or Leo so news will arrive from somebody that's younger than you um, and <coughs> the angels have your back you've got number 11 and 11 becomes 2 so you're back in balance it is a short-lived disagreement now and now I'm going to do my extended uh, side of the reading and I'm going to do the crosses and I'm going to do the lines okay now in the past you might have had uh, disagreements you walked away from other people's drama or from that argument okay and you started anew you took the decision to start anew you wanted excitement and you wanted adventure but you didn't want fights so you could have left um, the page of uh, ones behind perhaps you might have had a relationship or a friendship with a fire sign and you left them boom or a Scorpio as the coffin represents Scorpio that was in the past now at the present you are taking time out and considering things and evaluating things and you will be most probably be involved with an air sign a Gemini and other Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius and you might get news from them and you've been or you might have had that before and um, uh, you have considered their their news or perhaps an offer you might have had an offer or uh, with regards to the past um, they might have said something you were nasty blah 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 and you weren't but they have given their tuppence worth and you're considering it you can either take it that way or this way okay now we're going into the future this could have been a lady who knows it could have been a man but also a lady so because we've got the lady here and we've got um, the Queen of Cups okay um, and you've taken your time to get more information or taken your time to think about it 
because this is the card for research because you are in the spotlight and they miss you and they got back to you into the news gave you news now oh, their tuppence worth or somebody might have given you news da 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 Jackie or uh, Mrs. Smith or whatever misses you and regrets the argument that happened in the past and you've been thinking about it and you've done your research if this is gossip or not or whether it's true and you're contemplating you're taking care of number one good for you you're on the right path and you are in the spotlight you will have recognition and you've got the information good on you James always take care of number one because you can't take care of anybody else if you can't take care of number one love yourself first before you love somebody else learn from using your own emotions and thoughts listen to your intuition also now I'm going to do the cross okay there might have been arguments or disagreements in the past there might have been really really riots going on now you've got clarity you've got the honesty is out um, why there was a uh, argument or why you argumented um, it could have been with a lady uh, but it could also be with a man that is over nurturing that is the nurturing side is the feminine side the caring side and you didn't see it at that time because you were fixed on moving on and you want excitement and adventure and they might have said no that's not a good idea at this time you're moving too fast blah 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 so that is that line and there is reconnection with this person and something has become clear now this person can be an air sign like I said now I'm going to read this line and this line is that you um, you were in the spotlight or an issue was in the spotlight and you've done your research and you're done with the cowboy time with nonsense you are serious um, this is the eight of hearts yes the eight of hearts and you've moved on from the past okay you've moved on and you've received news good news clarity you know what to do you have what you want because you're going into a new face and you're going to go into a better face and that is the nine of diamonds so wow that is absolutely gorgeous again coming reading from this side um, and this is then we say this is above your head this is the future this is also the future um, this is that you're starting a new beginning leaving the end you're no more the caterpillar you're the butterfly you take no nonsense you have taken action to move forward into a new beginning you are taking care of yourself you are nurturing yourself that is what the lady talents that is what the feminine side of us is nurturing loving caring sensual and sexy so you might even be going and uh, to the hairdresser or shopping uh, with your honey uh, 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 birthday money or you might actually uh, be uh, going to the hairdresser or buying something that you love okay great stuff now in the present you want to move on and you are going to receive news most probably from an other lady uh, the lady the Queen of Cups or Scorpio or Pisces um, but uh, it could also be about care news to take care of your health who knows to take more care of yourself to take time out don't take too much hay all at once on your fork now the past is you have left the BS you're taking time out you're evaluating and you're following your path the right path now from the white witch tarot you have the star so there might be an Aquarian in your surroundings 
or an Aquarian might be very important or resonate with you okay uh, like I said an other air sign okay the star also means that your goals and wishes are coming true so that is what is really happening in your uh, life at the moment you have thought about your path you wanted excitement and adventure you are going to go for it you have done the work okay now you have the primrose the primrose angel feather and the primrose is like uh, what you call it uh, uh, lemon so you can use lemon um, to, to drink lemon to enhance your your uh, yourself cleanse yourself but also wear the color meditate on this color and uh, you can drink lemon okay so now I'm going to go to find out what the primrose is in the angel uh, what angel it is okay no I have not forgotten to read the card yet and it is an advanced soul well this that's what you can say even if you are the young soul because Gemini does represent the house of child alright so a lot of people might think that you're childish or not serious because you are so swift and playful um, but you can also be very serious gems I know that and you sometimes when you're serious you sit down and you're thinkers you have to be clear so that you can give a good communicative reason for things and a lot a lot of people can go against that and that makes you an advanced soul because you keep on learning and you're eager to learn the angels acknowledge that in your midst is an advanced beautiful soul an indigo crystal or rainbow child that you have been called on to love guide or teach what a blessing well that could be yourself as well okay and your inner child don't forget that but it could also be one of your own children if you haven't got any children then it could be a niece or a, a child of a friend of yours okay now the guardian angels are um, Gabriel Haniel and Michael and Michael is our angel anyway because we are the protect pro protectors he carries the sword and the shield the wisdom he's got the wisdom he he's also got the gift of the gab because he also represents the throat chakra and the lungs so he is the angel also of life and archangel Haniel is the angel of the heart okay an archangel Gabriel archangel Gabriel is the um, secretal um, the uh, archangel of the secretal also of life because the secretal area is the reproduction area the sensual area the sexual area of our body so you might be a very sexy at the moment or feeling really sexy ooh because you have Archangel Gabriel here as well now the angel other angels that are associated with the um, primrose color is also um, uh, the angels Archangel Metatron ADHD ADD and so you know um, we are vibrant we are the get and goers and and a lot of children that are crystal or rainbow or indigo children do suffer from ADHD or ADD so yeah if they are our child they've got something from us and so we can cope with those children we can understand them better and that is 
perhaps one of the reasons why we are not understood. So call upon Haniel, Gabriel, or what is that? Metatron and Michael. Those are our angels for this week. But Archangel Michael is our angel permanently because we are the sword and the shield as well. We love those that we care about and that we protect and we protect through thick and thin. I hope you have enjoyed this reading and look just an extra and this is what I do in the extended readings as well. The bottom of the deck I swear with my hand or my heart I did not sort that the cards out. So this reading is not all bad it's a lot more good than I thought. So you've got the celebration card the three of cups you are creative enough gems to get what you want and to go for what you want that is more important to get what you want sounds forceful and that is not us at all we are gentle and loving and caring so take care and i hope to see you in the life and happy birthday until next week. Ciao, ciao. Please share and like.